Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our BTEC Level 3 Extended Certificate in Music Performance Taster Session at Brookvale Groovy Learning Campus. Um, as you've probably heard before, my name is Laura and I'm one of the teachers on the course. Um, today I'm just going to be talking you through a few little things, a little bit of a course outline, not a huge amount on that because I know you've had that information quite a bit already. Um, I'm also going to be talking through some of the skills that are required for the course and then I'm going to be setting you off on a little task that I'd like you to complete over the next couple of weeks. So in summary then, the, when you come to do the, uh, the BTEC music course, it's based in, on four units. So the course is divided into four. Um, we'll do two units in year 12 and two units in th year 13. So the units are professional practice within the music industry, uh, a practical theory and harmony unit, there's a big unit on ensemble performance and then there's also a very practical unit on session style. So thinking if you were a freelance session musician and you were kind of looking at trying to make a career out of that, the different styles that you may have to play in, how you would adapt to those different styles and things like that. So it's quite an interesting unit. Uh, three of those units are mandatory. So the professional practice, the theory and harmony in the ensemble performance. Uh, the session styles is our optional unit, but it's really flexible and works really nicely because it can be done as a soloist or it can be done as part of an ensemble. Uh, with all of those units, there's a high level of practical uh, work involved, but there is also um, quite a high level of writing involved as well, quite a lot of extended writing, log writing, uh, evaluation, uh, video blogging, that kind of thing. So there is um, a sort of, if you like, a theoretical element, but it's not necessarily heavily theory-based, um, which the A-level in music often is quite theory-based. So it's, it's sort of slightly different, but it's more uh, extended writing, I would say. So in total, there are approximately 360 guided learning hours, which is sort of 180 guided learning hours per year. So what skills do you need to be successful? So to be successful in this course, you're going to need to develop the skills um, of the modern, well-rounded working musician. So dedication to your instrument and practicing. You've really got to be dedicated to wanting to practice and to get better. Confidence in performing to an audience. Don't worry if that confidence is not there at the moment, particularly because of the pandemic and everything we've been through. Um, you know, you might have not performed for a long time and, you know, we need to build that back up. But we're working towards building that confidence in performing to an audience. Creativity. So being able to take a song, maybe adapt it, change it about a bit maybe creating, um, there's in the theory and harmony unit, there's some work on creating melodies and chord patterns, things like that, a little bit of composition work. Be personable and able to communicate and, and play well with others. So working well as a team is really, really important. Some understanding of music technology and recording is, is a really good skill to have. Um, you will develop that as we go through the course. It's not something that's essential to do the course in the first place. Self-discipline, time management and organisation are probably the three biggest skills other than, you know, being able to play your instrument that you need to have to be successful. Organising your time, being able to dedicate the amount of time to, to written work tasks. So, for example, we like to spend a lot of our lesson time doing the practical work. We don't like to spend loads of the time doing the written elements. So a lot of that you have to do in your own time, whether it's in your, um, your free periods at school or whether you do it at home. But you've got to be organised and be able to time manage yourself. Ability to think as a musician, not just as an instrumentalist, so be able to talk about music, be able to think about the whole song and musicianship and how to be successful in that. Being able to reflect and evaluate on your practice. Okay, so when we come to writing work in BTEC, we tend to say if you can describe something, then you're at a pass level. If you're able to explain it, then you're at a merit level. And if you're able to evaluate its impact, then that's working at distinction level. So those evaluation skills are really important. And understanding at a basic level about the music industry, this uh, unit we're actually going to be doing in year 12 and actually looking at how the music industry works and that's quite an interesting topic to learn all about. So I'm going to move on to the task. So the task we want you to do is called a music passport and um, we really, because we've got quite a few externals potentially uh, looking at doing the course next year, we want to get you to know you and we want to see what you can do. So what we'd like you to do is we'd like you to record and present a short video presentation, introducing yourself and talking about your musical experiences. Now, one of the reasons we'd like you to do this as a video presentation is because um, there are 
elements of the course, particularly uh, in the ensemble unit, where you are going to have to talk to camera and you are going to have to do some video presentation work. So I think it's really good practice to be able to get into the habit of, of doing it in the first place. So what we'd like you to do is introduce yourself and talk about you as a musician. Um, your presentation needs to only be really a maximum of five minutes. It's not to be long. And we would like within that five minutes a performance of some kind of a song or a piece on your chosen instrument or voice. It doesn't have to be a full song. It could just be a section of a song. So if you've not got something, you know, really well rehearsed at the moment, that's fine. Just pick something that, you know, you can you can show us that, you know, gives us a flavour of what you are like as a musician. It will give us as well an indication of what the class is going to be like next year, how we might do groupings, that kind of thing. So it's really, really important. Um, the video should be submitted by the Google Classroom. So hopefully, if you haven't already, I've invited you all to our Transition Google Classroom. So um, if you check your emails, you'll Google emails, you should see uh, an invite from me to that. So please come along and join that classroom and I will submit this as an assignment. So you can then uh, submit your videos by the end of term so that we can have a look at them over the summer. Okay, so uh, what to include on your passport. So I want you to talk a bit about the instrument you play or if you're a singer, talk about your voice. Um, I'd like you to talk about how long you've been playing for, so whether you're relatively new to learning an instrument. So, for example, uh, we've got a guitarist in our current year 12 who's only been playing the guitar for sort of, you know, the last 18 months. Um, but also, you know, we have other musicians that maybe have been playing their instruments since they were maybe eight, nine years old. So, you know, how long have you been doing what you've been doing? Have you been part of any shows, bands or ensembles? So that can be if you've done any musicals at your uh, previous school or any outside theatre, any bands. So if you've been in a rock band or brass band, in a wind band, doesn't matter what kind of band or ensemble or choir maybe. Maybe you've been a part of a choir, school choir or an external choir. Um, any kind of ensemble at all really. Or if you've been in a rock band, anything. So whatever ensemble work you've done, that'd be really useful to know. Do you currently have lessons on your instrument or your voice? Okay, so do, are you currently receiving those lessons? Um, it would be really nice to know, actually, if you'd like those lessons to continue, particularly if you're coming from external, because we'll need to set those up as well when you arrive in September. Have you completed any music exams? So have you done any practical exams, any of your graded practical exams, maybe rock school, maybe LCM, maybe ABRSM, Trinity exams? Have you done any uh, theory exams? So you may have done your grade five theory, for example, that would be useful to know. Um, have you done GCSE music in your previous school? So particularly for those that uh, have come externally, it'd be nice to know, you know, whether you did GCSE music or not. And finally, what music do you enjoy? Not just maybe to listen to, maybe to play, um, you know, what music really is your thing, is your style, is, is something that you enjoy. And it might be that it's really varied, or it might be that, you know, you particularly like a particular genre, maybe you like rock music, for example. Um, again, it would just be nice to find out a little bit about your musical identity, if you like, uh, so that we know how, how to move, you know, a little bit more about you for when you arrive in September, and we know sort of where we're going to go with it. Um, as we as we go into the autumn term. Uh, in terms of tasks, obviously that's the main task to do before the end of term. After that, I, uh, we are going to look at setting a few things over the summer, uh, mainly just sort of skills analysis stuff, really, just to look at your skills. Uh, so do keep your eye out over the, over the classroom over the holidays. Uh, there might be a few little tasks to do over the summer. Uh, nothing major, just short things ready for when we start in September. Uh, but we're really looking forward to seeing you. It's going to be really nice, actually, because you're going to be in a class with our current year 12s. So it's going to be quite a nice, reasonable sized class with lots of different musicians in there. Um, and yeah, just going to enjoy having a year in school and hopefully we can do lots of things uh, like ensemble performance and sort of playing together and stuff. So yeah, really excited to meet you all. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little taster session and uh, yeah, see you soon.